Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. We are here at the Zamka base and it's morning on Zamka. It's a long, long, long night on this moon and it's so <laughs> I've been fiddling around with the building a little bit. I don't have a lot of, I still, I just don't have enough um, building components to make much anyway. But uh, while I was doing that, dawn began, and now it's been dawn for quite a while, actually. I noticed there's a ship over there. I'm tempted to go see what it is. Hmm. Anyway, now we can finally see our view of the crater. So it's nice. I wish the windows weren't so grimy looking, but whatever. So I built a couple chairs and a table just so we could sit here and enjoy the view. And I built a bed in case we want to sleep and we don't have to run all the way back to the ship to do it. And I built two more storage boxes. And that's it. I ran out of aluminum, so I can't build anything else. Apparently aluminum is one of the main building components. But I have most of my building components stored in here for now. Um, because I don't want to carry them around and I don't want, I don't want them in my ship taken up tons of room so if I want to craft something I'll just take it out of here I still do have a lot of stuff on the ship but I did take a lot of stuff out I put all my food in here well, well yeah yeah all the food is in here now there's none on my ship and there's none in my inventory and actually my inventory whoops. I don't mean to do that <clears throat> um, I also got all of my extra stuff like decoration well I did that last episode but yeah anyway it's all my ship is got some space it's not completely empty there's still a lot of uh, building materials uh, crafting materials on there and some aid items like chems and stuff are on there that I have extras of that I don't need I actually need to sell I need to sell more chems I need to sell all the chems I don't plan on using that's a thing I need to do. Um, but actually, so my inventory is pretty um, looking looking better. It's looking better. It's down below 100, which it hasn't been in a long time. What I want to do now, I think, well, we're going to go back to Jemison. I, I said that's what we're going to do in this episode. But I also want to go sell all of my extra chems that I don't need and my extra ammo for guns I'm not using. And then after that, I'll be doing pretty good weight-wise. And the ship will as well. It still has lots of components in it, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm tempted to run over there real quick and see what that ship is doing. I do need to keep an eye out for more um, ammo. Not ammo. Aluminum. I need to keep an eye out for more aluminum. So let's let's run over here real quick and see whose ship this is. And if it's a ship we might not want to uh you know take. What is this? Ice. Right, 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 right. <clears throat> Okay, it's farther than it looks. <laughs> it definitely is. But this is the only way to get there, so that's just what we're gonna do. There it is. I think it's a ship, but like, didn't we walk around there? We walked around, we were parked on the exact opposite side of the crater way over there. We came down and we went up. Oh, probably we just missed it because then we started walking that direction to, to build the base. Not that it was there the whole time though. Although I did see it on the map. I saw the ship on the map back when we were first here looking at the base. So it's been sitting there for a while. Maybe it's a permanent ship, not one that I can actually take. Since it was on the map, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that all ships 
aren't just suddenly on the map as soon as they land, but maybe they are. Unless it's a base. It might be a base. I didn't even look at the map. I should look at the map and see what, uh... No, I just want local map. Surface map. There we go. What is it? Where is it? Can I zoom out? There we go. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay, this is my ship. There's nothing out there, so it must be a... It must be a ship. <clears throat> okay, I guess I didn't see it on the map. I felt like I saw a ship on the map, or maybe it was a little base that I saw. I'm just forgetting. That looks like a ship. Has engines. Alright. What kind of ship is that? Huh. And what is it doing? It's just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. Anybody belong to it? Where's Sam? I why he's not coming along with us. Huh. That's kind of an ugly ship, isn't it? Oh, it has one of the salamander head cockpits. But it's a ship. Depending on who owns it. Um, Wendigo. What does that mean? Who owns it? Interesting. Well, should we go on board and see who's uh, who's there? I don't want to take it from good guys. I'm only going to take it if it's if it's the bad guys who own it. Oh, it's locked. Who owns this ship? Would you mind if I open this? You probably would. You probably wouldn't want me to. You probably wouldn't want me to. He, he seems like an upstanding guy to me, so if I tried to steal this ship, he'd probably not like it. Not that I need to steal it. I'm not... I don't know. It's got some big engines. Wow. Okay, well, I think that it has... I think it's a... Let's look at the map again. Yeah, there's, it's not on the map. That's the thing I was looking at. Samka outpost. No, that's my outpost. This is my ship. And my landing area. Okay. Now, what was I looking at then before? Because I thought I saw something. Was it over here? Landing area. That was where I originally landed. That's the unexplored geological feature... Or it's explored now, but I can't. That's odd. I can't move the map over any further than this. Like, that thing actually goes off the edge of the map at some point. It's just right on the very, very edge of my zone. I can't even read what that is because the map won't go any further over. That's weird. So, there's some unknown things. About it's weird that I can't move my map any further that direction. There's things over there, but I can't see them. That's really annoying. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, alright. Well, that's all I wanted to do is just to go see what this ship was. I don't need to um... Why is my quest marker hanging over the middle? of the, um, of the greater there. That's odd. Hmm. It's not hanging over my ship. You'd think it would be over my ship. That's the quest marker to go back to the lodge. And it's hanging over the middle of the crater instead of on my ship. Strange, isn't it? 
Or is it hanging over the old landing place that we landed at before? But that still doesn't make sense. My ship is over here. Anyway, let's hurry and get back and then we'll head off to the lodge. All right, we are back to the ship. The base is in relation to the ship. Where's the base at? It's over there, I think. Somewhere. On the edge of the crater over there somewhere. Or no? I'm turned around. Where's the crater? Oh. <laughs> is that the crater? I don't know. The base, I think, is over there. Anyways, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> We're not going back to the base right now. We're going into the ship. And I'm just Hi. getting sidetracked all the time. Okay. Let's go. Let's go hey, back how are you? to Jemison. Now that it's daytime here, we're leaving. <laughs> we always seem to be here at night. Not that we've been here just a whole lot, but... Yeah, it always seems to be night here. Escape trajectory plotted. Okay. No, I'm not interested in starting a fight. Good choice. But I was looking forward to blowing you up. Oh. Well, that's nice. Thanks. Where are you going? Huh. Okay. Going down to the planet, I guess, right? Anywho, anywho, let's look at the, um, let's go back to Jemison. And, um, hmm. Yeah. Let's not go straight back to the lodge. I want to go to New Atlantis first. Before I forget. Um, wait, no, we have to travel there first. <laughs> yes, I know. I know we have to travel there first. Ah! This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Mm -hmm. All right, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. Thank you. Okay, let's now land at New Atlantis. To actually land at New Atlantis, because I want to uh, sell the things first. Yes, and here I am not in my ship again. Okay, um... coming off the ship. Interesting. Heading back to the lodge, I guess. It's actually nice that they're not teleporting there, though. I'm impressed. Where's Sam? Though. Was he supposed to be following? He teleported there, probably. Sam and Barrett probably teleported there, because they're part of the quest. Yes. That's how Need that work works. Done? Okay. First, I'm going to sell a few things here at the Trade Authority, and I'm going to skip this part for you guys. 
All right, there we go. Hey, I sold pretty much everything I could sell. He ran out of money, <laughs> but I did sell um, a bunch of cams that I didn't need anymore. I still need to sell a few more, but I ran out of. He ran out of money. I did sell a little bit of ammo that are for guns that I had never even had before. I don't know if I should do that. What if I get those guns later and I might want to keep them? But, you know, whatever. I can always get ammo again. I just... I want caps. <laughs> Not caps. You know I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep calling them I caps. Am okay, I'm going to sell just a few more chems to her. And if it belongs then... on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Oh, please, and take a look. And then we'll uh, go to the lodge. All right, there we go. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. All right, we're all set. I sold everything I can sell. Last thing I, I am carrying nothing on me anymore that I don't want to sell. Now I need to go to the, uh, yes, over here. Um, yeah, I'm carrying only the stuff I'm using at the moment, um, <sighs> which includes quite a few guns. So that's what's using up most of my weight, but yeah. It's kind of nice. I think I might have one or two outfits on me that I didn't have. I didn't have any more containers. I couldn't build any more containers. I wanted to build a container I could store clothing, but I didn't have enough aluminum. So I'll do that another time. Yes, indeed. I really don't like how the companions... Because I, I forgot to take all the junk off of Sam. He was carrying a bunch of building supplies, wasn't he? Probably he had aluminum. I forgot I put building supplies on him. Anyways, I don't like how the companions that are following you stop following you when you come to Jemison because they have a quest to turn in. That annoys me. That's not very immersive. It doesn't do that in other um, Bethesda games. They follow you until you get to the building that you're supposed to be at or the whatever. So this is kind of annoying. I've, I've been contemplating whether or not I actually do want to roleplay in this game. I'm inclined to say no, I don't. Just the longer I play it, the less immersive it is. And the it's going to need some serious mod help to be immersive enough to roleplay, like in character roleplay, like how I like to do, it's gonna need some serious mod upgrades in order to make it doable. Just like stuff like that, stuff like Sam disappearing suddenly because he's probably in the lodge already waiting for me, even though he was on the ship when I left it and I didn't see him walk by. Why couldn't he walk by like Sarah and Cora did? You know, no, they just teleport, and that's not immersive. I know it doesn't matter when you're casually playing, but when I actually get into, like, it deeply immersive character role-playing, like I have been doing for Fallout 4, that kind of thing just is... Uh, I don't like having to work around stuff like that. It's very annoying. I would have to deliberately, like, see, there he is. He's, they're all just standing here. I, I knew it was going to be that way. Oh, well, whatever. <sighs> here we are. Here we are. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. And other places. Barrett, we were worried <laughs> sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. <laughs> Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Mm. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. Hey, you feel it a bit, back. can't you? Newest member of our Ever since I found the Hold second on. one. Hold on, wait a minute. Divisions. Being around them is just... Comforting. 
<sighs> so hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent. Plus, I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Oh, you want to follow me now? Um. Yeah, I'm not ready to do that yet, right? We were gonna do Sam's thing. We still have to turn in Sam's part of the quest. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go our own ways for now, okay? You don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of my genius. I get it. Ugh, Let me right. know if you change your mind. I don't know what it is about Barra, but something really annoys me about him. Okay, yes. Ooh, 7,000 credits. So, I guess I gotta add them. Because we got two now, don't we, that we didn't add. Or did we add the other one already? I think we didn't. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. Indeed. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Hmm. Why would either of those things give the discoverer visions and music? It's a message. Resonance, not sure. music. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime. Oh. But you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Okay. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Well, sure. Catch you later, Sam. Likewise. You know where to find us. I guess we can We can go with, uh, what's his name? Barrett Hello, for a little while. Just to, because we haven't traveled with Barrett yet. He, he's really annoying. I Who feel... Curious feeling, knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does? I don't, actually, though. I don't know something that everyone know. I actually don't know the thing. So, I guess we only had one to return. I thought we had two. Did, did we already return the Barrett one? That we found with Barrett? But I guess we did. We, we went and returned it before we found Barrett. The one that we were looking... We weren't... Yeah. The one that we found when we were with Sarah on that dude's ship. We already returned that one. Right. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Barrett, but he really annoys me for some reason. I think it's just the way he talks. He he likes to just go on and on about himself too long. And it takes forever for him to get to the point. Has Have any of you guys noticed that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but he just really annoys me. And so I'm not sure if I want him as a follower but I will take him for a little while just to now what are we supposed to do what's the next step oh yeah we have to go talk to um okay that one's done um we did all those the old neighborhood we did that back to Vectera we did all of them. So what is the next thing we have to do? I know we had to talk to, um, um, no. <clears throat> uh, whoops. We had to go talk to another one of their guys on somewhere on the, um, I don't remember which mission that was. Um, yeah, what, did, what, mission, what is mission? Are these all, though those are missions that I picked up on, um, yeah, but like bounty missions and stuff that I picked up. Okay, I get it, I get it. So faction... That's, um, other places. Yeah. Um, I could have sworn... There it is. Talk to Vladimir. Which is on the, um... Where? It says show on map, but it doesn't actually show it. The eye. 
That's what it was. We were supposed to go there, and then he would tell us something. I, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, Hello, you guys. Hello, Cora. What are you reading these days? Okay. She's upstairs in her room. Or downstairs. No, she's downstairs. Isn't she? She's she's downstairs. Because her room is down there, if I remember right. And he saw her. They're talking through the I'll floor. I'll put the book back when I'm done. Don't worry. Maybe they have an intercom. Maybe they have a watch communicator thingy <laughs> that they can communicate to each other through, through the building. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that that's what they have for immersion's sake, but I have a feeling that's not actually how it's working. Anyways, you guys. Okay. <sighs> we are done for now here. Um, we have a lot of episode left though, so we're not gonna go, we're not just gonna stop. I guess I'll take him with me. <sighs> I guess I'll take him with me. I don't know. Fine. What? Hmm? Do What's you need something? Hmm? <laughs> so, um... Can I ask him personal questions? Do I want yes. to? Can you turn around and look at me? Um, no, I already asked him personal questions. No, well, that's all I have to. No, no. I, I just bear it. Let's go back. Let's. Well, oh, what does he do? Starship engineering, particle beam weapon systems. I don't have any of those yet. <laughs> Robotics and gastronomy. So you're kind of a cook, I guess. So you want to go back out? Am I ready to hop into a ship and explore the galaxy with you? More like, are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. See, like, it couldn't just be a simple yes. He had to, like, be funny. But he's funny in a really slow way. He talks too slow. That's what it is. He talks really slow. And so it takes him forever to say his lines. Have you guys noticed that or is it just me? <laughs> yeah. For some reason, that just really annoys me. Hmm. Like he would be way funnier if he didn't say his lines so slowly. If he had a more witty sounding voice. It's like he's trying to be funny but he doesn't have a funny personality. Does that make sense, you guys? He doesn't have a funny personality, and so he just... He's boring. He's boring. He's like the Preston Garvey of this game, right? Even though he doesn't send you on settlement missions. But he does just... He just doesn't have an interesting personality, I guess, is the problem. Okay, we're trying to go somewhere. Now I don't remember where we're going. Can you believe this tree was here before the city? Yes, I can. Although, no, actually. Maybe it was really little then. They built... It must have... Yeah, anyway. Um, what is that quest? What do I... What quest is active now at the moment? Which one is active? Deputized. Talk to Emma Wilcox. I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh yeah, no, I was gonna go to the to the eye and see meet what's his face. That's what I was gonna do. Okay, well let's go do that next, and then um, that will probably take up the rest of the episode. And after that, you guys. Cause I just wanted to meet like more members of the constellation before like I oh, did I'm so excited you know to see Tony after work. like tons more um, other random things I wanted to kind of get to know all of the members of constellation before I really go off to do a ton more stuff because I just feel like I have it hanging over my head a little bit I guess I don't know I don't know if that makes sense, but there it is. So, 
I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go up to the eye and I'm gonna meet Vladimir. And I know that there's at least one other member of Constellation, but I'm not sure how we meet her. We meet her at the same time as we meet Vladimir. Or we probably have to go on some other mission to meet her. But I don't know if I'll meet her before I do other stuff. For, for sure I'm gonna go meet Vlad. And then, then I might focus on doing a ship, building a ship. Capturing a ship. I want to capture a ship and then Jake, fix it, it up. Is. That's what I want to do. Have something for you. You do, huh? Well, let me see. Can I, can I talk to you? Hey, so okay. I thought you might like this. I hope you do. Thank you. You don't have to get me anything. Don't be modest. Everyone likes gifts. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> okay. Sure, thank you. It's not a problem. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. What is that? What was that that you just gave me? I, I don't even know what that was. Was that a, a resource? No, it wasn't a resource. Was it a misc? I didn't even catch what it was. Oh, was it a, a food item? Uh, I have tons of, I have tons of, I don't remember what it was called. Was it this thing? No, I already had that. Huh. I didn't read it fast enough before it disappeared, so I didn't actually catch what he gave hey, me. Hey, what's going on? Oh, well. Anyways, Barrett. Mm -hmm. Another thing is he sounds older than he looks. That might be another reason that he annoys me. He has an old man voice. Or at least it seems like he does. Like, he just, he looks like he should be in his 60s instead of however old he actually is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway. Lift off looks good. Those guys were right in the blast zone. She is. They need to move. Eight point reached. Orbit stable. Okay. Let's take a look at the planet. Or at the area here. The eye is in orbit. Okay. Well, let's travel there then. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's so little. Okay. Hi there. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Hmm. Or we're just really far away still. Just ram into it. Let's see here. Can I? Whoa! Stop! 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 Okay, I want to hail them first. This is Constellation Star Station L O eight six eight. Welcome aboard. Oh, thank you. I think it's cool how it actually shows the thing you're docking with in the little cutscene rather than just a generic cutscene. Airlock integrity looks good. You know what I mean? Alright. I think I need to... Well, it'll probably... I'm assuming it will remove my spacesuit when I get down... When I get on board? Um, <laughs> maybe not. We'll see. If I not, I'm going to take it I still can't believe that Sarah was able to convince Mass to let go of this station. And Vladimir has done so much work on it since then that even Mast must be impressed. Oh, whoops. I just realized I still have this uh, boost pack on. My skip boost pack that I picked up. 
All this time I had a skip boost pack on instead of my main, main one. Uh, silly me. Yeah, I was going to remove the spacesuit for now. Since I'm on a, you know... Oh, that's Falcon nice. ID of service, Captain. Ooh. That's kind of creepy. Um, yeah. Um, how can you be of service? In no way whatsoever. Crew quarters. So what do you guys do on this station, anyway? That must be Vlad, right? Did I pick up one of these desktop geodes? I probably did. Hi! Vlad? Vladimir Saul. Okay, hi. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Okay, that is not how I expected you to sound. <laughs> okay, um... I'm not a rook. I was a space miner. Probably among other things, like a bounty hunter and whatnot. An honest job. No shame in that. Some of us have done far worse. We're a team now. What we do together and now is more important than what we did alone and before. Is it? Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Okay, so... <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, that happens to me too. I get lost in something and lose time all the time. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Mm -hmm. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Uh -huh. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. Okay. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Okay. So... So I need to check these leads in person then. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Okay. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. Okay, so Mateo went out recently. It's like he did leave right after I did because he was there at the lodge just a minute ago. Yeah, we haven't met Andresia yet. Okay, so who is Andresia? Another rook in Constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Okay. So, I'll keep an eye out for her. It's okay to be worried about her, Vlad. She's been out there for a while. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Right. Anyway. Hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Okay. Find Andresia. Go to Piazzi 1, or go to Tau Ceti 2. Okay, so... Oh, he's retired from the Crimson Fleet. How would I know that? Did they tell me that once, and I just don't remember? <laughs> Probably. Um... How did you get mixed up with Constellation? Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus Proclamation? No. The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired, that's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel, I thought 
I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Okay. I have to really concentrate on what he's saying to actually understand what he's saying. Like, he just doesn't... I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. So, you're retired from the Crimson Fleet, didn't know that happened. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. Hmm. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. You do? Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but... Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Oh, oh was I done talking to you? I don't think so. There was other questions to ask you, like... How do you get to the lodge? I was gonna ask you! <sighs> oh, you were talking from way over there. I was wondering why I were looking down at you. Okay, so we need to go out and find Andresia somewhere. There's two possible locations for her. First, I want to take a look. Facilities. Physical training. Okay. Storage. Yep, that's what it is. Washroom. Yep. Stop. Do 30 push-ups. Have to go in. Have to do 30 push-ups before we can go into the cafeteria. Heavy particle fuses. Why are they just all sitting on the table? Take them. <laughs> micro microsecond regulator. Hmm. That sounds like it could be useful. I don't know what gun uses heavy particle fuses, but probably a particle gun, right? Right. Let's see. I think I have all the junk I need. But I'll take other things like just random whatnots. A cheesecake. I should probably close the fridges. I don't want to leave the fridges open. All the food would spoil. I'm just checking to see if there's anything in here besides... What is that? Uh, oh, wrong button. Do this. What is that? Oh, it's a little tub with, with uh, vegetables in it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to check and see the things. Okay. We can take the things because they like us. We're part of the team, and so we're not actually stealing. I should come in here and see if there's anything. What is this? Spacesuit workbench. Okay. I don't see anything else that's useful. What's on this side? Scanning control is where we talked to him at. What do we have here? We have crew quarters. Okay. Ah. These are Vlad's quarters see what kind of person he is. He likes to work out and eat meal packs. Protein bars and things like that. Okay, so this is a bake it one. Can I use the beds? Oh, I can. Alright, cool. Definitely vacant. Another vacant one. Not anything going on in here. That's locked. The washroom. And there would be nothing in here worth taking. Okay. And then, um... Docking bay and orbital walkway. So what is the orbital walkway for? It's just for looking out into space. Look at there's a moon way out there. You can just sit here and read... I would feel a little bit 
I don't know. I don't think I would like doing that. So you can't actually walk all the way around. That's disappointing. I would, I would like, I think it's cool how the ships dock. I don't know. It's just cool. Captain Jake. Oh, this would be the more interesting side to sit on. That's for sure. Where you can actually see the planet down below. Wow. At least it doesn't look blurry this time. Was it Jemison that looked blurry? Or was that a different planet that looked blurry? I don't remember. What's that? A useless circuit board. And another one. Yeah, I'm not going to find anything good in any of these. Hold on, what is that? Utility flight suit. <sighs> An is this the same airlock? No, this is a different airlock. Indeed. So. That's cool. I don't know why I'm walking all out here. You can't walk all the way around for some reason. Like, why? Why, why do they have it? Why do they have it so you can't walk all the way around? I want to walk all the way around. Like, run the bases, you know? <laughs> anyway, alright, let's go, Vasco. Time to head out. Dilly dally long enough. <laughs> alright. It's It feels less crowded without, um... Yeah, what's up? Aura in here for some reason. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, we're going to a new place. Right. I was deciding if I should put on my spacesuit or not. <laughs> um, let's undock. And then I will look at the map and see where it is that we need to go. And we're loose. We are. Let's take a look. We need to go... Hold on. Uh, no, no. Oh no, wrong button. There we go. We need to look at the missions. So stop doing that. Let me see. Um, no, no, no. Main missions. Find Andresia. Go to Piazzi 1 or to Tau Seti 2. Okay. So... Let's see where Piazzi 1 is. Okay, we've already been up to Bessel before, haven't we? Okay, so that's not too far away. Alright, let's uh, take a look at where the other, Tau City 2. Where is that? Okay, we've not been there or anywhere near there. That's pretty far... Not too far, I guess. Hmm. Which one was it? Nah. That was this one. Okay. Um, let's go to this one first. Level 10. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I don't think I have any, um... Hold- oh, no, I'm pushing the wrong button. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Now I do have uh, power in my grab drive. Okay. It automatically filled because I didn't have some earlier. I will never get tired of that. Never get tired of grab jump jumping? Okay. Where are we? We are at Vessel 3, which is not where I wanted to go. I could have sworn that I chose... Um... Not Bessel. I could have sworn I did not choose Bessel. What is that? Bessel 3B. It looked like it had an atmosphere. Oh, come on. I could have sworn I chose Piazzi. Oops. Right? I had this one selected. Did I not? Did I not actually select it? I wanted to go to Piazzi. That's odd. I went to Bessel. I could have sworn I had Piazzi chosen. But I guess I didn't. There we go. Deliver a message. 
Of course. <laughs> wow, this planet almost looks like uh, our pl our moon, where we have our base. All right, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me look at the system here. So we've got a sensor contact. We've got a ship. Okay, these planets don't have their own individual names. So, what was that mission that just popped up? Um, I don't know which one it was. Failure to communicate? Yeah. Talk to Albin Lopez on Piazzi 2. Someone named Albin Lopez is sending a distress call asking for help from List. I could drop by and investigate. <laughs> I could. Okay. That's over here. Lopez's farm. Well, we could do that. It's an emergency in everything, right? It's an emergency. Let's go over there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go there and do all that in this episode because this episode's almost over, but... Let's head on over there for now. Let's see. What's going on? You no, know, it's always fun to get sidetracked. We have to we have to respond to distress calls whenever they come in. Because that's just realistic. I leveled up again! Oh, I forgot to level up last time. I leveled when I cho when I got to level 11, so I have some skill points to spend. Let's do that first, and that might be all we have time for once we're done. But we'll see. Um, hmm, I haven't leveled up in a while. Um, a meaning, I haven't. It's been a long time in real life, uh, but since last time I leveled up in this game, because I took some time off from the game a while back. Um, boost pack training, piloting. Can I rank up my piloting skill? I can't. To... Can I get it? I can use it. Yes, I can. Okay, increased ship turning rate and maneuverability. Well, I already got that, didn't I? No, I guess I didn't. I thought I did. No, I guess I just rank up the the thing. Right. Right? If I rank up... No, it's, I can't. Unlock the ability to pilot Class B ships. Right. <laughs> I didn't see that at first. Okay. Um, what is that under? What is that under? Is that under... Um, how do you unlock ability to... Uh, yeah. Starship design, maybe? To pilot... What did it say? I forgot what it said. Unlock the ability to pilot Class B ships. That's what it is. But how do I... um Rank up this skill? Because it's locked. I don't remember how it works, you guys. I, I've already forgotten everything. Because I have such a bad memory. I just do. Okay. Ballistic weapon systems for the ship. I suppose I could do that. I do want to get my ship skills better. I'll unlock that one. So in order to unlock rank 2, I need to... Deal 1,000 damage to enemy ships with ballistic weapons. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, hold on, don't go through them so fast. What is this? Surveying. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do. I mean, I do, but I don't. Like, I want to get outpost engineering and stuff like that, but I don't want... I don't want to have to get all of this stuff first. This is really annoying. It's really annoying. 
Um, ballistics and yeah. I would like to get rifle certification eventually. So you have to get, was it four things in the first, was it four or six? I can't remember. And before it unlocks tier two, I don't remember. Let me see. I still have to kill a couple more enemies with a shotgun. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, if I had just used my shotgun instead of that other gun, I would be able to get the next rank. Oh well. Let's look at ballistics. I need to... Looks like I can. I can rank up my ballistics. Okay. I will do it. Now I need to kill 100 enemies with a ballistic weapon. Good. Now let me see what else. Social. I wasn't too inclined on doing that. But that gets you more outpost management. That opens the outpost management. Which just really annoys me. I just don't really care about getting this stuff. Or this stuff. Any of them. But I want outpost management. You know? <sighs> hmm. Physical. Stealth. Weightlifting. Oh, I should probably do some more weightlifting, shouldn't I? Hmm. I could increase my maximum health as well. Can I unlock rank? Yes, I can. Okay. I can unlock weightlifting rank 2. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now I need to sprint some more with the weights. <laughs> okay, so I have one more point. What do I want to put it into? Piloting. Why couldn't I get that before? Because I pushed the button to get it, but nothing happened. But no, this time it did. Okay. For some reason, last time I pushed it, like pushed it like three times, and nothing happened. Or was it this one? No, because that one was locked. I, I tried pushing that button a few times and it just didn't work. Maybe my button's stuck. <laughs> Destroy 15 ships. Wow, that's going to be... We might have to go just go on a rampage at some point, right? Oh, dear. Anyways, you guys. Um, yeah. Whoosh. Whoosh. I don't know. I'm just goofing off. Looking at the ship in space, because why not, right? Anyway, I think we are going to uh, call this episode good right now, because it's an hour long, and that's how about how long I'd like to keep them. I don't really like it when it goes over an hour. So we will go down to this planet and save this guy on his farm next episode. Okay? All right. Give me comments down below. And it'll probably be a while before I read them, but yeah, <laughs> there it is, as always. Okay, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.